Well, it's a very, very good evening here at Baltimore Cottage. And I'm <laughs> a bit out of breath because uh, I've just arrived back late this afternoon and I picked up some parcels that were on the doorstep. So first of all, I've got to share that with you because it's just beautiful. Now, excuse the mess on the kitchen table, but I'm sorting things out and... Um, a few things have to be packed away. Such is life. It's wonderful, isn't it? Oh, by the way, yes, I'm on a 100-day juice fast. I'm feeling fabulous. This is day two. And uh, such clarity of mind. All the fogginess is lifted. Mind you, driving up and down to Belfast can <laughs> lift a bit of the fogginess too. Anyway, here we go. I got this wonderful book, which I'm thrilled about. Thank you so much, Sherry. This is from Sherry Fought in Alaska. And it's the birds of Ireland. So I'm now able to identify <laughs> all those birds because, of course, I was um, uh, eulogising about the birds and, and everything. And I think that's a little wren on the front. Now, thank you so much, Sherry. Then I got this wonderful parcel. <laughs> the postman must be very suspicious of me. Oh, by the way, yes, somewhere, someone somewhere is suspicious because this was actually opened. Da, 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 da. Yes, someone somewhere thinks there's something illegal being imported into Belton a Cottage. Hmm, birds. So I got this uh, second parcel, which is absolutely gorgeous. Um, let me just open up the little card. This is from Melanie and um, Melanie Paler. Thank you so much, Melanie, because <laughs> and there's, there's so much synchronicity happening today. Uh, it's just amazing. I'll pull it all together for you shortly and tell you. Got poppy seeds. Look at this fun, fun and beautifully wrapped. Look at the wrapping. It's a tea cosy. Look at this. And it's got a little bee and a beautiful little ladybird and flowers. And in my fab royal colour, because of course you know the O'Neills are the royal family of Ireland. So I keep telling everybody. I think the only one who acknowledges that is Pascal at the post office. <laughs> he doffs his cap to me. Or he says he would do if he was wearing one. Now, then I got this other present. Uh, by the way, that's from the UK. Melanie's present is from the UK. I got this present and, you know, a lovely letter, which I'm not going to read out to you because it's quite private. But look at this absolutely fabulous little teapot and two little they look like antique little little vintage tins of tea look they're wonderful a little brown teapot that does belong in an old irish cottage and a wonderful letter with another gift that i'm not allowed to disclose to you but no name now, the wonderful man, I think it's a man, who sent me this. Why, why do I think it's a man? Let me just have a look at the letter. I can't show it to you. Maybe it's not. I'm presuming it's a man because it's a very outspoken letter. Um... Sounded quite like um, uh, someone I knew very well who used to be very outspoken about things. Not unlike myself. But anyway, if you're watching this, can you send me a little email or leave a little message to say your name? You don't have to give your full name, just your first name will do. Thank you so very much. Thank you to everyone. Now, 
It's been the most fabulous day. As I was driving down, the sun was just blinding. And I couldn't wait to get back. Um, now, I don't know for sure yet, but I think I have to go back up tomorrow. And it'll be tomorrow evening. So, see how things go. Now, I'm going to take you outside because it's just beautiful. It is just absolutely beautiful out here. Yes, and Jack thinks it's beautiful too. That's funny. When I come out, Jack was sitting in a pose as though someone was sitting there. Ah. I've stopped questioning these things. I'll just sit down for a moment. Because, <clears throat> did you see the synchronicity in those presents? The Book of Birds, obviously, Sherry, you know that I'm lacking in knowledge of Irish birds and need to upskill there a little bit. Hold on a moment, I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> Serves me right for sweeping the kitchen floor when I come in. <laughs> oh, here's Sammy Bear. Hello, Sammy. He says, I've missed you, Mum. Or have you? I like to think he has. He's looking quite clean. He's looking remarkably clean. Um, yeah, the synchronicity there, just in those presents. You know, the teapot, the tea, the tea cosy, and the book of birds. So, I'm obviously going to be making a pot of tea. I'm going to be putting the tea cosy on it to keep it nice and hot. And I'm going to be reading my book of birds. Three different people, three different people sent those packages and they all arrived at the same time. Amazing. Thank you so much. It makes me feel very wanted and very appreciated. It really does. So, talking about being appreciated, I'm going to take a little walk just to appreciate the absolutely fabulous evening that there is here. Oh, and by the way, if you hear my voice changing a little bit over the coming weeks, it really is because of the juice fast. Because my energy levels have literally soared um, just over the past 24 hours, soared. And... Um, my clarity of mind is amazing. Right, Jack, we'll take a little dander. So just, so much has changed just in the past couple of days. It's amazing. No. Let's go down here, down this little path. One of the lovely, lovely things about planting trees is that you've got so much leaves and they just feel luxurious to walk in. Now, The entrance to the fairy wood. Listen to those birds. The trails of ivy. And all the moss. I remember making these little stone steps. Twelve years ago. 13 years ago, right at the very beginning of the Belgian project. It was just kind of muddy here. And now look at them. They look as though they've been there forever. As does that little, that little Sammy cat there, look. Well, of course, you know Sammy's story, don't you? 
so many people have said this. In fact, too many people have said it separately to me. So I know that there's something very, very relevant in what they say. Let's run up a tree now. Sammy is a fairy cat. He spends, he does actually come down into the fairy wood down here towards dusk and he doesn't usually come in until just before dawn. So whether he's a changeling, changeling cat, you've heard of changeling children. One of the reasons why in Ireland um, and I think in Victorian times as well um, little boys, you know, little toddlers were dressed as girls. I know it was very prevalent here in Ireland where they dressed the little boys as girls so as to confuse the fairies that the fairies wouldn't steal them because they believed that the fairies quite often stole your beautiful child and in return left what they called a changeling child. That's a very good excuse, isn't it, for having a badly behaved child? <laughs> oh, probably a changeling. <laughs> the fairies took my child. You know, my child was wonderful. They will return him one day. Now there's Jack running, and he's running because, of course, Sammy, Sammy Bear was running. So look at this. Look at that rhubarb. And up there on the right of the path. Looking for little buds here on the apple trees. Just this little hint. A little hint of a bud coming out there. But look at the change on the black currant. We've got leaves here on the black currant. Because unlike the ribes, the black currant leaves come out before the fruit, before the flowers. And uh, look at this. This is a real quickening. The quickening. This is what this really is. And here on the blueberries. Just beautiful. Have a look in here in the tunnel. Ah, there's my little um, my little microgreens, and I, and I've sewed those into an old fish box because it's polystyrene, so it holds the heat. And it's just basically any any seeds of any greens that are edible that will grow. And then what you do. Um, as they grow and, and they get to a couple of inches high, you just cut them down with a pair of scissors and they, they're fantastic for salads and they'll keep on growing. It's kind of cut and come again. Now, there's Sammy Bear, look up at the other end. Sammy Bear! <laughs> He's being playful. Oh, look at this. The nectarin tree. There's blossom. How wonderful. Fantastic. Oh, wow. And look at the peach tree. Little block. This is amazing. You know, this is the tree that I rescued from the bin at Little. It had been snapped in half. Can you see where the... With the big breaks where I look. Not not just there, but up there as well. It was basically like a walking stick. And last year, I think there was about three fruits on it. But this year, there's a promise. There's a promise of quite a few fruits. Fabulous. Well, there you are. You've limboed in, have you, underneath that door? He says, I'm coming with you and Jack. You look to be having fun. Now, of course, this little tree 
the whole branch broke off. I mean, it's literally it's literally hanging on by a thread there, and I've wrapped it up with wool. And it seems to have done the trick. We'll see how it goes this year. Now I've s there's more microgreens going on in here. That's an old window frame look. And uh, another polystyrene fish box. You can get these free, you know, from fishmongers. Ah, some little, little buds coming out on this clematis. It's very encouraging. No. Look at this, lots of flowers coming out on the ribes. These are very well placed, these ribes, because because of course um, the bumblebees, which are usually solitary bees, um, they will make their little winter nests in dry banks. And there's a lot of dry banks just along here um, because of the old stone wall. Let's have a little look. Oh look, you can see, look at that, you can see right into the, the badger set. Now that looks as though it's had a little visit recently. Look at that. That's gone a bit blurry. Let's just pull it back a bit. That's interesting. Hmm. Looks like a new tunnel. Jack and off down through the fairy wood. Hmm. Let's go down into the fairy wood and have a little look. Sammy! He may not be there, he may have gone. Oh, there he is. You are. You're crossing over the little badger set, aren't you? Shall we go down into your into your fairy wood? I have a, I have a notion that he is one of the she. He's a very wise cat. He sleeps on my bed. Very protective. Could well be. Everything is possible. Everything. Including beautiful little primroses. Just peeking out. Look, and there's some there on the bank. He is on the follow. Don't know what time it is now. I think it's gone five o'clock. Might be getting on for six. Hmm. He's gone running off next door, like look right across the field, running like a. Crazy cat. Now, I, I was thinking about Jack, and I think he actually likes to play hide and seek. So when I call him, he comes looking for me. Oh, there he is. Okay, you can see me. I'll wait till he goes out of view.
This is what he likes to do. He likes to run and kind of find me. You clever boy. Clever Jack. Now, there's celandines, look, coming up. And lots of spurge. See all this beautiful green gr ground cover? Well, if you look closely, they have little kind of lime green flowers on them. This is spurge. Now the local community college is running a special course for mature students. Well, mature students, basically anyone who's not um, already in education. So I think the students there, I don't know how many there are, could be as many as 20, but I'm not sure. And um, they range in age from I think about 16 or 17, up to about 60. I mean, Ireland is really very, very good indeed. I've got to commend um, the education here in Ireland in terms of it being a lifelong education. If you're unemployed, you can go on to courses, any amount of courses. And um, I think I've spoken about this before anyway, so I won't go repeat myself. Anyway... I got uh, an email from um, the woman who runs the course um, asking if she could bring her students along to Belton Cottage because uh, the course that she's running is um, to do with permaculture and ecotourism. I love those two words, ecotourism, because it really focuses the mind about the way society is changing and what people are looking for in terms of experiences and holidays. So anyway, um, so I got this email and uh, yeah, I was pretty excited. Um, so of course I'm able to charge a fee because the Belton the Cottage is so firmly fixed on the landscape now of Ireland. Um, it's not often that I get asked if, if students can come. And I'm surprised that there aren't more groups of students wanting to come. But anyway, that's okay. Everything in its own good time. It does help to sustain Belton the Cottage, of course. Um, <laughs> look at him. This what? Come on! Oh, he's going on a big circuit. So, these students are going to be uh, coming, um, I suppose, suppose, in the next few weeks. I have to set a date for them, and I think really I should just give it a couple of weeks so as to let buds start to thicken and, and, and things kind of fill out a little bit which will make it a lot more attractive in terms of looking at goddess permaculture like here we have the beautiful beautiful little um, thorn tree, little hawthorn tree and it's coming into leaf and all those lovely leaves and greenery makes such a huge difference 
this is amazing how this I think it was two or three little little cuttings of box that I put in here it's just absolutely taken over wonderful I was thinking about the little birds you know during the cold weather and if they can have a little sanctuary like that you know I mean it makes sense doesn't it they're going to be warm and snug Oh, there you are. Now, of course, the leaves on the hazel are starting to come out. And um, I tell you, when I planted those two little hazel trees in there, that was just brambles. But the brambles, of course, with a little bit of cutting, and as the trees grow, the brambles start to die back. There's some more primroses. And primroses here. And that's the spring water from the well. And then you look over into that land and see what Beltana was. Do you know, when I'm away from Belton, I dream, I dream just about walking the paths. Come. Go down this way. See, look. See these little holes here, look. Now this bank has been man-made because of course when the ponds were dug I, I told John to put all the spoils, that's all the earth that was dug out, just roughly in a big sort of long barrow type mound and not to smooth it off or anything but to leave it very very important to leave it as it dropped from the digger just leave it and that way then you see you've got these little cliff faces and this is where the small mammals and the little the, the beautiful little bumblebees make their little nests because these banks, of course, are relatively dry because they're, they're up above, so they're draining down all the time. And it's amazing how many little creatures make their home in something like this. What time is it now? 28, 48. So I'm going to have to finish soon because I'm going to be cut off You're tricking me. Now, I'm going to go up and get this uploaded. Oh, let me have a wee look at the pond. Have we got time just to peek into that pond? I noticed on the drive up that there's more frog spawn. And everything looks fine. Everything looks fine. Just good to be back. Now I'll be uploading um, diary entry two of my juice fast later on. Blessings to you all my friends. Blessings.